Let's go to Tartarus tonight. Very well, we'll meet at Tartarus around midnight. Don't be late. Alright, our first night inside. I wonder what happens if I choose to actually ignore Tartarus and not go inside for like the next, I don't know, couple full moons. Will like, will Mitsuru try to force me inside? As we explore Tartarus, they will begin, this will begin our temporary base of operations. I'm counting on you. God, oh, Akihiko's not here this time. Or, oh, <laughs> the paradigm door is already here. There's a silver door. I think this door is what, uh, is that Theo was talking about. He mentioned a sister. You decided to open the door. That's not true. He didn't. Someone is standing there. Oh, it's Margaret. Okay, I can skip this. Um, what do you mean? It just like them? It's funny because I haven't fought them yet uh, as the female protagonist, so... Very interesting. Because if I do this... Oh, yeah, what is this door for? What is this door for? Interesting, so, so I can only fight them as I beat them in the main story. Okay, got it. I can't even do the priestess, right? Oh, I can. Oh, that's funny. Technically, I can do the priestess one. That's pretty funny, okay. Because I do have Junpei and... And Yukari. First, show me that you're worthy of being trained. See that priestess door? Go on. I don't think I will. And this is the, um... Oh! Now that I think about it, I could technically power level Yukari and... Uh, Junpei right now. Because this is like level 90 mobs. <laughs> okay. I might consider doing that, uh, later. But right now I don't even have the compendium, so... Any enemies that have null to, like, physical, I will get destroyed by, so, yeah. Anyways, stuff that, uh, you don't care about. Let's go. Ready. I found something else about Tartarus. A few floors up is a barricade preventing you from going any higher. The tower seems to have a number of those inters... Interspers... Interspersed amongst its floors. Okay. Sorry, I just woke up. I know I told you that the layout changes every day, but these barriers seem to be in fixed locations. Therefore, I'd like you to try and reach the first barricade. But don't push yourself too hard. If you go back in front... If you go back in from the entrance, you'll be able to resume from the highest floor you previously reached. I'll give you these two, just in case. Got it. If you run into danger, don't hesitate to use them. I'm counting on you. Speaking of which, I, uh... I did... Oh, give me a moment, and I'll check to see what's beyond this floor. I detect a great source of power above you. It's still relatively far away, but keep your guard up nonetheless. Um, I did give myself all the items. As you can see, now I have every single item in the game. So, basically, when I run into the quest items, I should be good to go. Alright, we're good. They still attack me? Damn it. Two enemies detected. Die. Oh my god. Her crit animation is so much more smoother than the male MC. She does a flip in front flip. Slash. That is cracked. Okay. Ew, I don't want this. A wooden stick. Nice. Alright. I guess they still attack me because, uh... The rest of my party is level, like, three. Easy. Die. Slam. Again. Oh my god. Three for nothing. Alright. Good stuff. Yeah, I think my party needs to level up to uh, to not, so I can spread out properly. Because if I spread out now, the shadows will still attack me. It's okay, though. The whole place seems like a maze. Even the access points seem to be randomly distributed. If you feel like you're in danger, don't hesitate to return. Oh, trust me. I will. You know, when you strike an enemy's weak point and it falls down, it looks so funny like that. But I guess it wouldn't be so funny if you got attacked while laughing too hard. Yep. Ah, I'm so hungry. Tartarus, Tartarus, Tartar sauce. 
Oh crap, I want some deep fried shrimp to munch on now. Good choice, Junpei. Shrimp is objectively the best seafood. Prawns are pretty good too. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Two Die. Die. Who's the man? I'm gonna try to rush through as quick as I can so we can get back to the story. Um, that's the idea at least. I just wanted to see the crit animations because they look so damn cool. Two enemies detected. Last one. That was easy. Very. Okay. Yeah, I think once I unlock the Persona Compendium, I will take I will take all my party members into like uh, into the the unique ten floors that's on like the right door, and I'll level them up to like I don't know level forty or something, so that I don't have to worry about uh, shadows chasing me during this playthrough. I think that's the best way I can do that, because they're still approaching me. It's a shame we don't get to hear uh, Mass Destruction anymore. I think this track is called uh, Wiping All Out. I, I took a look at the... Uh, where is the flipping stairs? Oh my god. I took a look at the uh, Persona 3 Portable uh, unique tracks for the female protagonist. And... Uh, oh, of course it's upstairs this way. And uh, they're all bangers. <laughs> I found the one that I used to for like uh, my anime convention video <laughs> so I was like okay that's what it's called it's called Sun alright oh. revenge revenge that's a rare form teach it a lesson revenge Re revenge revenge Die. What a stunning victory. I didn't even need to do that. I just felt like doing that. Revenge. You shall no longer escape. Okay. It's pretty funny too, those gold hands, they're like they're so common in Persona 4, but in Persona 3. Oh wow, I actually got him. How is that an enemy advantage? I slapped his That's ass. Rare form. Teach it a lesson. All right, kill him. Take the enemy down. Yeah. Who's the man? How did I miss? I'm level 99. How do you miss against an opponent like that? Tsukushi. Again, why can I not find the exit? Okay, split up, gang. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. That's right. Do your own thing. Of course, it's here. I detect three shadows in this floor central area. They're not like the ones you fought before. If you're not ready to face them yet, then return to the entrance and reorganize. Got it. Guess I'll activate... Huh? Is that? Excusez-moi, but can you have a look at that device near you? This device is similar to the one at the entrance. It's been activated. Got it. Alright, let's do it. You can win. I'm certain of it. Oh, it's a new track for the bosses too. The enemy is stronger than you're accustomed to. Proceed with caution. No, they got rid of the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Can I make some random ass like combination here? De deals electric. What are they weak to? Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Or I'll kill one of them then. Get down. Do it again. Damn it. I took one damage. Easy. Who's the man? All right. Cool stuff. I just realized, though, I don't think I have... I don't 
think you can summon Orpheus Telos in uh, in the compendium. It's like Izanagi no Okami in 4, so shit. He was the persona that had all my elemental damage, so I might have to actually summon different personas this time. Hold on. The shadows on this floor are a bit different than the ones you faced thus far. Proceed with caution. What are you talking about? Everyone, spread out and proceed. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> okay. I was like, it's a bit late on that. Two enemies detected. Do it, Junpei. Yeah. Who's the man? All right, all right. Maybe I should have taken them to that, <laughs> to those secret floors. Eh. But without the compendium, I don't really want to risk. I mean, I could have used, I could have spammed like Megiddo gems or something <laughs> to just get them up to speed. That's fine. This is nothing. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. Look at me. Keep up the good work. Look at this amazing damage I'm doing that is totally legit. But uh, the good news too, now that this is my second time going through the game, wait. There it is again. I detect a powerful foe above you. It's still relatively far away, but be careful as you work your way upward. Um, as I was saying, because it's Everyone, my second time. Spread out and proceed individually. It's my oh, oh god man. damn it! I got caught. My bad. I got you. Killed him, Junpei. Three enemies present. Woo. Don't get careless. Die. Last one. Good stuff. Oh, give me the XP. Yes. <laughs> give me the XP. 17 still. Um, as I was saying, since I already have the Persona Compendium at 100%, I can basically have the matching Persona for every time I hang I out. Found some cash. Cha -ching. Good shit. 88 bucks. Damn. Um, so yeah. Everyone. Hopefully, I'll be able to make really good progress in uh, my social links this time. Ooh, I found some money. So that's a good, that's a very good thing. I don't know how high I have to go for the first round here. And I don't remember what date that I unlocked the compendium either, so... Hopefully it's soon. This Tartarus exploration is going to be a bit of a bit of a slob, but yeah, I believe it's on the next floor. Be careful, okay? Boss, next floor. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. She said, "Spread out, Junpei." God damn it! Two enemies detected. Out of my face! Who's the man? Not you. Seven XP. <laughs> Maybe I should put, like, growth 3 or something on all of uh, my party members. Oh, nice. Wait, no. Okay. Find the stairs, not the... Oh, she found it. Nice. Rancid gravy. I still can't avoid that. I detect three shadows in this floor central area. Okay. Same as always. Activate this. Imagine forgetting to activate these. You're kind of screwed. Prepare yourself. Actually, you're not. You can just use the door to keep going. It must be guarding this area. It's strong, so be careful. Got it. In that case, slam. Do it, Junpei. Last one. Nice. That was easy. I wonder why. Alright. We'll just grab whatever's here. Chewing soul. Not like I even need items anymore, but it's okay. The shadows there seem different. If you think you're strong enough, you could split the party up. Guess I will. Not that we are strong enough yet. I think they'll still aggro until I reach, like, I think it's 10 levels above them. That's what happened with Thebel, at least. Yeah. Like they even approach me still. Three enemies present. But don't they don't careless. they don't get the advantage though. 
2012. Wow. Remember that year? That was a good year. You know why it was a good year? Because uh, that's the year Gunyam Style came out. <laughs> Fucking Gunyam Style. Okay, no, that's the access point. Can I have uh, the stairs, please? Get out of my face. One enemy detected. Okay. I kill it faster than you can say one enemy detected. Alright. Ooh, okay. Thank god there's a bit of a... A bit of a cooldown to the shadows aggroing. Wow, the stairs was all this way around. That's crazy. Great source of power on the 14th floor. Okay. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Let's skip past this real quick then. Die. Die. Nice. Oh yeah. Another wooden stick? No, a practice bow. Which is basically a stick. When you think about it. Okay, next floor. Everyone, spread out and proceed. Oh, nice. Well, there we go. One shadow. It's relatively strong, so be cautious. Okay. Oh, it's this guy. I think it's the first, the first um, big one. I'm certain of it. Nope, same music. It seems you've attracted the guardian's attention. Its arcana is the chariot. The chariot. Because I'm, I'm about to mount this fucker. To, oh, never mind. Pierce attacks out. Can't lose to him. Then do it, Junpei. Dead. Okay. Finish it off. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna play it like that. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. How about you have some? Uh, should I use some Megiddo? I have all of these items. I might as well maybe use them, see what they do. Uh, champagne? Fuka's cookie. Oh yeah, that's from the... Uh, <laughs> if you choose to hang out with her. How about electricity? Since I don't have any personas right now. Yeah. Have some electricity. Oh yeah. Finish it off. Woo! Good shot. Okay, no weakness. All right, how about some? Uh, how about some ice? Here. Not bad. Okay. Good stuff. That was a that was a that tough was battle. A close Very close. Oh my god, <laughs> this is cons <laughs> consumables three portable. That's what this is, this playthrough. I'll grab these items and we'll head up. Bomb of life. Hmm, the structure of the next floor seems to be different. See what you can find out. Is, is she telling me that there's going to be less enemies? New... Nice, it's a dead end. Good work. Return to the entrance. I'm guessing the documents are the same. Yeah. We can't go any further. Damn it. Alright. We're done here. Cool, cool. Yeah, I can't access, access the compendium yet. So there's no point. We just leave, yeah. Because I don't want to run into a... Null opponent. Man, I'm so tired. Coming to school is a job by itself. Things got so busy all of a sudden. Well, I do feel a lot more satisfied though. But we're just starting. You sure you're gonna be okay? You better not get sick from pushing yourself too hard. Oh man, I'm getting teary eyed now. Going to class is a pain. The only thing I look forward to is after school. How will I kill time? gonna spend time at the game arcade. Junpei came over to talk to you the moment class ended. Yo, 
Am I hanging out with me after this? I know someplace that's really good. It'll be my treat. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Sweet, let's go. All right, now you're talking. Iwatodai strip mall Hagakude. It's crowded, but luckily you were able to get in without too much waiting. Uh, all right. We'll have two specials. That sounds good. Well, I'm sure it'll be better than you're expecting. After a few moments, the waiter brings two ramen bowls to you. The fragrant smell rising from the bowls makes your stomach growl. Come on, try it. You take a bite. The distinct taste of the soup blends well with the thick noodles. It's really quite delicious. <laughs> I've never had anything like this. But this is delicious. Haha, <laughs> good, right? Well then, I'm digging into chow time. Ah, hot, hot, hot. Man, this is great. Although Junpei eats noisily, he seems to be enjoying his ramen. Isn't it like custom in Japan to slurp your noodles, right? Unlike here, where it's considered rude. Hey, do you feel okay now? I heard that while you were out for a while, you were in the hospital. You seemed full of energy at school, but I was kind of worried. Is that why you invited me out? Huh? Oh, well, um, yeah, always blushing. I had some problems myself when I transferred here, too. In your case, you got all that fighting stuff on top of that. I was wondering if you weren't accustomed to school or whatever. Then again, I think you'll do just fine. Junpei seems embarrassed and laughs. You can sense Junpei's thoughtfulness towards you. Oh? Oh wow. Junpei Link right off the bat? This is interesting. Because for the rest of my party members when I played um, the MC, I needed my social stats to be maxed. But maybe it's different because I'm already maxed, so... But still, this one started automatically. Well, I'm not complaining. Cool. Still, girls and guys living in the same dorm, huh? That can't be good. <laughs> Stop smirking like that. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Oh, don't worry about me. I don't drag love into my work. Then again, I can't guarantee that I won't fall for somebody. <laughs> But then, if I romance Junpei, what will happen when Chidori comes into the scene? Like, I don't want to... I don't want to do that. Because, like, I know how it's going to play out already. You and Junpei chatted for a while, then headed back. Oh god, what's going to happen? Welcome back. MC, have you been... Uh, FMC, have you been monitoring your condition? Exploring Tartarus can be very tiring. If you use up your stamina exploring the tower, you will be tired for the rest of the next day. The other's condition still uh, will vary as well, so make sure you take that into consideration before you begin explore exploring. Got it. I'm apparently good though, even though I explored. Your persona is like a part of you. That's why mine only learns physical skills. Because dudes are supposed to fight with their fist, mano a mano. Oh, that's right. I use a sword. <laughs> yep. If you're around people who get sick, you might get infected by them. Hmm, I wonder why you don't notice you've been infected until after the battle. Must be because you're concentrating so hard on fighting. Well, anyways, just don't come near me if you get sick. Tartarus seems to have an unstable... Oh, uh, right. When exploring Tartarus, it's important to monitor your status as well as your teammates. Right? Same old, got it. Well, I prefer a bow and arrow, probably because I'm in the archery club. Can I join the archery club? Please, let me join it. What's great about a bow is you don't fall down if an enemy dodges one of your arrows. Although a bow doesn't do very much damage and it misses a lot. But you can always balance those negatives with your persona. So, no worries. True. You turn on the TV. The customers sure were excited to see her like that. Our next story is about the release of the Spring Carp. Over 10,000 were released into the river this year. The next carp release ceremony will be held in June. In June. Can I head to the command room already? It seems very advanced. Okay, I can't use it yet. Got it. Um, I guess we'll head out, see what's outside.
Is there anybody inside here yet? I don't think Mutatsu would be here yet. Hmm, I feel a strange aura around you. In my mind, I see visions. People's past, present, and future. For most people, I see clearly and far ahead. But you are different. Is this the same old one? Young lady, bearer of light and shadow. If you wish to know more... Okay. Yes, please. You have pulled fate's trigger. The bullet passes through many, heading directly to its target. What target that may be, however, is unknown to me. You must find that out for yourself. <laughs> so a whole lot of nothing. I've known that girl since we were in elementary school together. She loves fortune telling stuff. She used to pull out these weird props from her bag. She claimed that they were her lucky charms. Lucky charms. I never ate that cereal, by the way. <laughs> do you believe in fortune telling? Yeah. So you do too. I don't mean to say it comes true all the time, but sometimes... I mean, isn't that like the point where like astrology and arcanas are supposed to encompass pretty much like every single possible scenario and like personality type so that it can be it can be like relatable to the individual i don't know that's how i see it really ah i knew you'd come around i mean it's destiny beautiful people are drawn to each other first off a present for you in honor of our meeting the man gave you sobe a toast to your beauty what the fuck? Okay. I mean, thanks for the item. <laughs> Nothing hap nothing's happening to, uh, nowadays. I guess that's what peace means. How about you? Anything happened in your life? Aren't you like the groovy guy that lost your groove? Yeah. I see. Sounds tough. Well, good luck with whatever, whatever it is. Hey, what do you all have? Aren't you a little too young to be in here? Well, I guess you can stay. Just don't cause any trouble, alright? Got it. So there's nothing going on yet. And this is the cafe that I can spend time, but I don't need to. And this is the other place that's open in the morning. No one is missing yet, obviously. Ah, hello. Say, have you heard anything about this business of ordinary healthy people changing overnight? Right, you're still here. <laughs> oh look, it's one of them. It's one of the lost, a victim of the apathy syndrome that's causing such a stir. You can't get a meaningful response out of the person. Damn it. And I can head in here, right? Welcome. Got new things in stock? Yep. Alright, I think that's it. Yep. Well, there's no nighttime activities as of now, so let's just head to sleep. This is a peaceful nighttime theme. Way of life. <laughs> and this is my schedule. Ate ramen with Junpei. Alright, cool. Yeah, I can't even watch the TV. I can study, right? Yeah. Not like I need to. Go to bed. The sooner I go to bed, the better I feel great. You overhear a conversation. Is it just me, or have there been more weird people around lately? You're talking about the apathy syndrome, right? My neighbor has that. He grosses me out. Sometimes I think I might have it too, and it depresses me. Maybe you just need some exercise. Hey, the athletic teams are accepting new members. Maybe I should join. Ah, right. What is it? Tennis or volleyball, right? Okay. Uh, if you can find the appropriate room, you might be able to join. Alright, cool. Yep, we know that already. Guess we'll do that. We already explored the town, so there's no need to... Wait, this is new. He's so hot. Don't you think so, too? Man, he's so hot. Hey, I think that chick's checking me out. Oh, yeah, man, she's definitely checking me out. Hey, good for you. Not like I know how this turns out. You guys are already here? Okay. Okay. Let's head to the laboratory. And then this way. Okay. So I can join the girls volleyball team. Or I can join the tennis. Let's join tennis. 
so you all have a new oh my god a misc <laughs> the the teacher that uh that kenji was simping over during the mail route is um i guess she's like the the coach of uh, of the of the tennis team miss kano so you all have a new teammate she's M fmc from class 2f everybody be nice to her okay <laughs> nice to meet you all nice to meet you too this club seems to have a rather friendly atmosphere at the very least it seems like you're welcome here um who is the leader for the juniors that would be me Oh, okay, so you're the, you're the Kaz Kazutora, um, replacement. Oh, good, I'll leave the rest to you. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here anyways, and <laughs> giggle. Uh, Alright. Miss Kano left. I don't really know anything, teehee. Huh, that sounds exactly like her. She's too old to try to act cute like that. Come on, let's get back to practice. Your FEMC, right? I'm Ryo Iwasaki, a junior like you. I'm in charge of the juniors in the club, so don't hesitate to ask me anything. This club meets Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. Okay, same meeting times. We don't meet for a few days before exams, so keep that in mind. Thanks. Well then, we're going to concentrate on doing basic exercises today, so come on and join in. Just keep up as much as you can. The basics again... I keep telling you all uh, that the fundamentals are important. Let's start off with some running. Alright. Uh, FMC, you stand in this line. If you start getting worn out, just keep your mind focused and you'll be able to pull through. My stamina's my weakness. <laughs> Me? I'll be alright. Haha, <laughs> you sound promising. You joined the girls' tennis club and met Ryo Iwasaki, a junior like you. Ryo seems to be taking her role in the club seriously. Alright. My first female friend. Yukata, you don't count. You're part of Cease. Alright. New character, though. Chariot. Okay. Exactly the same. Just don't, like, break her leg or something. Well, let's go. Front row, start us off. One, two... After running laps, you went through a series of muscle exercises. Then you diligently went through the basic drills in serving and using different strokes. You decided to go back to the dorm, and practice ended. Oh, hey! Oh, that reminds me. Have you joined any clubs yet? Yep. Oh, yeah? That's cool. You seem pretty talented, so I'm not surprised. Oh, by the way, maybe we should go to Tartarus tonight. With all the lost, I think we should do anything we can to help. Plus, I didn't have practice today, so I could use the exercise. Just don't take it lightly, okay? It's dangerous there. I I'm aware of that. And Junpei isn't. Yo, some weapons and pieces of armor have special effects. Equipping one of them will affect your status, dude. I think only Persona users can use them, though. That's right. I'm so bored after school because I can't do any training. By the way, have you joined any clubs? Sure have. Good. I hope you enjoy it. It's tough to attend all the time, but you'll really get a lot out of it if you do. Shadows have weaknesses, but so do we. Let me rephrase that. We don't have weaknesses, our personas do. My persona seems to be weak against electricity, but strong against wind. She'll probably never learn any electricity skills. You never know. Tartar seems to have enough. Okay. Same old, okay. From me to do all business. We turn on the TV. Despite this, they were able to safely finish the concert. Our next story is about a strange animal from overseas. It's called the platypus. The platypus is an animal native to Australia, is an egg-laying mammal. And behind the male platypus's feet are poisonous spurs. What a strange animal. Really? Platypuses aren't that outstanding. They're just like you and me. Ugly. What? <laughs> Damn it, too real. Alright, moving on. You overhear a conversation. Oh hey, you know the bookstore at the strip mall? Isn't there grand reopening today? Huh? A bookstore? 
Yeah, leave Iwatodai Station, go straight for a while, and it's after you cross the crosswalk. We've been at the school for a while, we should explore more often. Alright. I'm, I'm assuming Bunkichi is relatively unchanged, those guys. Guess I'll do that. I'm assuming I can't start Bebe's, uh... Bebe social link just yet, right? Even though I have the skills to read the note. You never came. Sorry, I am gone now. Like, what does that mean? Yeah. Hmm. And training is only on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. For Rio. Yep. <laughs> Class clown. When can I hang out with Junpei, though? That's a good question. Because he would be in my classroom, right? So if he's not there, that means I can't hang out with them. Yeah. Got it. Alright. Let's head to town, then. They would be... Strip mall. Right. Can't wait to hang out with Maiko now that I have this, like, really upbeat protagonist. Here it is. Would you like to go inside? Do it. An old man and a woman are behind the counter. Welcome. What would you like today? We have fresh mackerel. Sorry, as you can see we don't sell fish here. Hey, you're a student, aren't you? You must be from Gekukon High, right? That means you've probably seen the persimmon tree there. Okay, we have. We even inspected it. No, I haven't. Are you serious? You don't know what I'm talking about? Not a day goes by that we don't think about that tree. It was planted right beside a walkway in a courtyard at the school. It seems that there's a persimmon tree somewhere at Gekokan High School, but it's not clear how the tree and this old couple are connected. I'm sorry, he's rambling on like an old man. Just ignore him. After saying goodbye to the old couple, you decided to leave the bookstore. Maybe I should go back to the persimmon tree at school and see what's up. Uh, what's the quickest way there? Probably the laboratory. Yeah, and then this way. There we go. A small tree. It must be the persimmon tree that the old couple at the bookstore was talking about. He found a leaf on the ground. Got it. Alright. And now we can head right back. I'm back. An old man and women. Welcome to Bookworms. <laughs> An old man. How many guests? Smoking or non-smoking? Hmm? Excuse me, but may I see that leaf in your hands? The old man is interested in the persimmon leaf. Would you like to show it to him? <laughs> Don't show it to him. Oh, is this a leaf from the persimmon tree? It must have grown quite a bit to produce such splendid leaves. Wait, so you didn't come here just to buy books? Did you come here to see... Uh, to show this? Yes, I did. I knew it. I knew right from the start that you're a kind young lady. The old man is showering you with praise. I've been meaning to go see that tree for a while now, but I'm not sure if these stumpy old legs will make it that far. That wasn't meant to be a pun, you know? Stumpy? Tree stump? Catch my drift? Very clever, dear. It's okay, don't worry. I've handled Ikutsuki level humor. Allow me to introduce my wife, Mitsuko. I'm Bunkichi. If you don't mind, would you tell us your name? So your name is Fem C. Well, we'll call you Fem C Chan from now on. Bunkichi and Mitsuko seem happy you told them about the persimmon tree. You got to know the old couple a little better. Oh yeah. We are already raking in the social links. I like it. They're still the Hierophant, got it. So some social links are different, some of them are the same. All right. It's getting dark out. We're open every day except Monday. Come visit us if you get bored. After saying goodbye, you head it back to the dorm. Where have you been? You know, you better be training while I'm out. If anything happens, it'll be you guys who will have to deal with it. That is correct. Sending everyone out on their own is a good way to explore a floor in Tartarus. But if you stumble across an enemy, you might have to fight it by yourself. And that could be pretty dangerous. But if you're strong enough, the enemy will be afraid of you, so you won't have to worry. Yes, they fear me. 
With many people choosing to go overseas during the long vacation, it's a popular vacation choice this year it seems. Airports are filled with air travelers. According to a survey, the most popular destination is once again, Hawaii. I always wondered that. Why is it Hawaii? Out of all places. Guess I'll never know. Isn't like Hawaii now like a terrible place to visit because of the fires or whatever? That's like old news now though. People are on like the latest trend, which is, I don't know, because I don't pay attention. There's no school today. Can I play my online video game? Well, oh, there's no Tanaka yet either, right? I forgot. Can I ask Junpei for the game? No. Generally speaking, you may do whatever you like on your days off. You can study or go out. It's up to you. Cool. Just be careful not to get injured. What's up? Are you going out? Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, go out and have some fun. <laughs> and what if I... Now nah, I'm staying in. Hitting the books, huh? What if I ask him, what about you? I'm staying in today. I don't have anything I need to do. Plus, I'm still injured. Got it. Guess I'll drop a save. It's been a couple days. Alright. Anything on the news already? Next time on Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Oh, it's the first episode. Episode 10. Instant Adamen. Smor Smor Gas Board Feather Swan. And now, the news. The first story is about that the many youngsters with only part-time employment. Too real. Alright. Let's uh let's see what's going on around the city. Can't go to school. Oh, Yukari's here. What a coincidence. Did you come here to shop too at Femsi? Yep, that's right. This mall is pretty convenient. You can buy almost anything here. Next time we're here, I'll show you some stores that sell really cute clothes and accessories. How about now, Yukari? Let's go. I'm just wandering around. You don't know this place? You should explore the city some more. Okay. Got it. Well. Are you here for the arcade? Alright, yeah. I already know that. I don't think there's anything new here then. And uh, there's no compendium yet, right? Damn it, no compendium. No compendium, no problem. Well, it is Sunday. I can hang out with Bunkichi and uh, Mitsuko again. Since they are technically open today. It's a Sunday. And the Iwatodai Street. Oh, Junpei's here. Hey, FMC, what's up? Just wandering around. Okay. Well, you just got to this town, so wandering around is good. You'll get to know the place better. Yeah. Nothing. What's up? I just ate, man. All that exercise in Tartarus makes me hungry. Yeah, damn right. Yeah, I don't think there's any other bonds, right? I can check the shrine. Yeah, it's a bit too early for that, though. Way of Life. Such a good song. Guess I'll do it. You decided to spend lunch at the bookstore. Oh, you came back. Welcome. Um, what was your name again? I'm from GeckoCon. I'm just joking. I know who you are. I'm not that old. My wife and I were just talking about you, Femsi. How do you like melon breads? Someone gave them to me, but I have more than enough. Go ahead, take one. Thank you. Don't worry about it. It's just a melon bread. There's no need to thank me. Femsi, you're so polite. I wish he had been that way. Okay, so it's the same old story, I think. Do you want one for a friend, too? Because it'll take us forever to finish them all. Sure, I'll take some. Alright, here you go. Uh, uh, er... What was your name again? Remember, dear, this is Femc. I'm sorry, Femc. He's terribly forgetful lately. Here you go. Obtained melon bread. Where did he run off to, dear? He should be here helping customers. I'm sorry, Femc. It's okay. 
I'm sure you'd rather be with kids closer to your age rather than talking to an old man like me. If all goes as planned, you'll become my daughter. I'm sure he'll be back soon, right, dear? Good joke. Must you, dear? She seems sad. Who's he? Oh, that's right. Our son is deceased. My apologies, Femsi. I hope I'm not making you feel uncomfortable. Bunkichi and Mitsuko shared their pa their painful past with you. Your relationship is stronger. Got it. It's the same old story. Oh, okay. It's getting dark out. Uh, hey, why the gloomy faces? It's dark outside. I don't need it to be dark in here, too. Please come again. We'll be waiting for you, Femsi. After saying goodbye, you decided to go back. Nice. Oh, hey. Got some productive time today. For the tactic heal support, all I have to do is heal and support, right? Okay then, when you get hurt, I'll heal you with either an item or a skill. But there may be times where I won't be able to heal you, so don't get mad at me if that happens. Don't worry. My persona is strong against fire, man. It'll probably learn fire abilities too. I'm en fuego, baby. But it's weak against wind. I guess my flames get blown out by the breeze, huh? Yeah, by Yukari. What's up? You going out? Nope. Distressing an enemy. Surprise attack. If the enemy's ability level is equal to yours, there is a lesser chance it will become distressed. Got it. Alright. Once again, time to sleep. I don't think the full moon is for a long while, so... We're just getting started. Morning. Ugh, I'm so drowsy on Mondays. Did you say that same thing last week? Is that special morning assembly today? How come we're having one? We just had one last week. Remember how great Kijo Senpai's speech was? Oh yeah, that speech was awesome. Although I didn't understand most of it. Well, what I heard was the principal got jealous, so he scheduled his own speech to compete with her. Seriously? What's up with that? Why do we have to suffer because of his ego? begin this morning's assembly. Based principal. First, our principal has some words he'd like to share with you. <clears throat> Please give him a warm welcome. Thank you. What's the deal with the assembly? You think it's about the recent incidents? Who cares? The principal doesn't know anything about the shadows anyway. I just hope this doesn't take too long. I know. His speech is always drag. <clears throat> Today, I'd like to tell you about my vision for this school year. As you are aware, strange incidents have been reported on the news lately. It is my firm belief that none of you are involved. However, if we want to better our school, then we all need to accept responsibility for change. Dig deep down inside and tap into your imaginations. But don't lose touch with reality. As they say, there's no use crying over spilt milk. Hmm? This is the key to reaping all the rewards that school has to offer. The principal continues with his yapping. Wait a minute. Doesn't this remind you of Mitsuru Senpai's speech? Because it is. Yeah, you're right. What's up with that? It's actually the same. The responsibility for change, the like end quote at the end. Femsi, I'm sorry, but I need to talk to you after school. I have a special request for you. What kind of request? I apologize for being in a rush, but I don't feel comfortable asking anyone else. I'll tell you more about it after school, okay? Au revoir. This better be good. Then, round up. So, the answer is x equals 1. Hmm, it isn't. Oh, I see. This becomes 11, so... I'm sorry, you're right. x equals 2. Wait, is that right? Uh, okay, your assignment is to figure this one out. Anyways, wasn't this incredible? Even with a difficult problem like this one, once you solve it, x still equals 1. Or maybe 2. What I'm getting at is, math is fun, don't you think? Civilization owes its very existence to math. 
All right, today is the 27th, so that works out to your turn, FMC. Do you know when numbers were invented? Uh, 4,000 years ago. I'm sorry, but that's wrong. You should have listened to the god of mathematics. The Sumerians invented numbers 6,000 years ago. Damn it. Okay. I didn't remember all of them. Later, Arabic numerals were invented in India, which brought us the number zero and countless equations. Ah, the beauty and wonder of it all. Math is magnificent. Your answer was incorrect. I apologize for making you wait. To make a long story short, I want you to join the student council. Why so sudden? Well, it's not like you'd have to participate in every activity. Just come to the student council room when you have time. Is that all? Yes, that's it. I just want you to join. Being president is very time consuming. I'd like to have additional help available in the event of an emergency. You understand my situation. I'm asking you since you know what I'd like what it's like to be a leader. Roger. I knew I could count on you. I've already made an appointment for you with the faculty advisor, but you'll have to go to the faculty office on your own. Okay, you must speak to Miss Toriyumi. Just tell her that you are interested. I'm sorry I made the arrangements without your permission, but I hope you understand the position I'm in. Please go to the faculty office, FMC. I'll be waiting for you in the student council room. Okay, cool. Oh, I can hang out with Junpei. Are you forgetful? Maybe. Then make sure you don't forget to stock up, especially from Officer Kurosawa. I heard that Akihiko-san that you can't buy anything from him at night. If you want to go on a school day, then go right after school. Right. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> then I won't nag you. Got it. Same thing? Oh, you guys are new. Akihiko Senpai is so okay, no, never mind, it's the same dialogue. Oh, right, there's practice today. Damn it. Man, I'm tired. I'm stiff as a board. I was asleep the entire period. Have you ever slept during class? Sometimes it works like a charm. But not today. I'm still sleepy. That's fair enough. Hey, what's up? We have practice today. Are you going after this? I guess not. You're not going? I see. Seems a bit disappointed. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm going to visit the faculty office. So I can get that permission. Oh, FMC, can I help you? About student council. Oh yes, I heard from Mitsuru. All you need to do is read this and sign here. You now have access to the student council room. FMC, alright then. I'll leave the rest to me. Good luck in student council. You now have access. Alright. I what days are the student council? I think they're like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? Wait, that wouldn't make any sense because today's Monday. I think it's Monday, Thursday, Friday or something. Hmm, okay. Well I'll start all the links now because then I have them in my little pocket so I can so I know when they when they are. All right, let's do it. Time to introduce. Everyone, this is Fem C. She'll be joining us in student council. Fem C, huh? Oh, it's him. Um, Toshi. Fuck, your name is so complicated, but it was like Toshi. To, oh uh, God, whatever, we'll find out. Hide Toshi, that's what it was. Hide Toshi Oragiri. I supervise the disciplinary committee. I'm Chihiro Fushimi, the treasurer. I'm a sophomore, and um, I'm still learning the ropes, so please be patient with me, FMC. Oh, nice. I wonder if I can hang out with Chihiro and she'll have like a different. She'll share like different stuff with me because I'm a girl. Hmm. Nice to meet you all. Hidetoshi is sizing you up. You must be talented if the president handpicked you. Nice to meet you. It seems Hidetoshi wants to learn more about you. You're getting to know the members of student council. You hope that you can get along with everyone here. I, I love everybody. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, this must be uh, Hidetoshi again. The Emperor. Definitely. Oh, 
Okay. The school day is about to end. Today, we'll just do introductions. It'll be your job to help us, FEMC. From now on, you have my permission to enter the student council room whenever you need to. That includes after school, too. The student council meets on Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. Okay, same as the club. We don't meet on days before test. Thank you, FEMC, for joining us today. You decided to go back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Yo, I hear Mitsudu-senpai asked you to join student council. Mitsudu-senpai, are you sure you want a little girl who's just transferred in? I need some assistance, that's all. I won't let the responsibility stack up too high. Why? Are you interested in helping too, Iori? Oh, uh, I'll pass. But thanks for the offer. Junpei become the, uh, the treasurer. Uses all the money to buy food. I don't really have time for student council. Every minute is either spent studying, attending club, or fighting shadows. Speaking of which, you know about Mizuru Senpai's... Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. I will forget then. The student council, huh? Well, as exciting as that sounds, I think I'll pass. So I heard Mitsuru asked you to join student council. Sorry if it felt like you were forced to join. But any help you could give her would be appreciated. Yep, yep. As president, I'm really quite busy. In fact, I don't even have time to rest. I would be grateful if you could help out sometime. Just stop by the room when you have the chance. Got it. Today's exchange rate. Shifting economy has strengthened the dollar against the yen. 1 USD to 115 yen. The change marks the yen's 1.4% weakening from yesterday. Oh yeah, I think it just keeps getting worse because of the lost, right? So there's less people working or whatever. It becomes a genuine concern. I remember. Well, time to sleep. Good morning. Have you acclimated to our school yet? Yes. I see. Your ability to adapt to new situations and environments is very impressive. By the way, there's something I forgot to tell you. Most times you can find me in the lounge. However, I won't be there if there is something I must attend to. So if I'm not in the lounge, we will explore Tartarus the following day. If she's not in the lounge. It's finally time for lunch. Rio? Yo. Kind of feels weird running into you in the halls like this. Oh, hey, you're free today. Want to go see a movie? A movie, huh? What? You're not into movies? You should see one once in a while. I guarantee this one will be good. I haven't seen it myself, though. Junpei wants to hang out? Okay. I gotcha. Sounds good. Can I hang out with Yukari? Oh, FMC, heading home? Want to go somewhere? Hmm, okay, I wasn't doing anything today anyways. Alright, let's go. You stopped somewhere on the way home with Yukari. Oh shit, I can hang out with Yukari? Uh, um, well, there's something I have to say to you. Well, I wasn't expecting to do this today, but you know what? Sure, why not? Uh, what is it? You probably might not remember, but... Um... When you woke up in the hospital, you know, after the dorm was attacked by a shadow and you discovered your persona? You know how I said all those things to you right after you woke up? Like, you're the same as me and you're alone and stuff about your parents? Uh, I think that I might have been making assumptions about you. I mean, I lost my dad, but in your case, it's both your parents. And even though things may seem the same, people react to it differently. But I ignored how you might have felt and forced my own opinions onto you. I might have been worrying all this time that I might have said some unfair things to you that day. And I want to properly apologize for it. I'm sorry. But I still do sense something similar between us. You might not like it since it's the fact that we're both missing parents. Still, I never had anyone who could understand it around me before. It's different for everyone else at school. They both have their parents at home. They can complain about how they'll get yelled at if they come home late. I... When I hear stuff like that, I feel jealous. But I hate feeling that way, so I hide it. And because I can't tell anyone that, I feel distant. I feel lonely. So when I heard about you, I felt that you could save me from that. Yikes. 
Uh, sorry, I'm being selfish again, I know. But the fact that you're part of our group now makes me feel a lot better. I'm glad that you joined us. <laughs> I'm just gonna... going around in circles with this pity party, aren't I? But that's how I really feel. Yukari confided in you. You feel as if you've gotten a little closer. Oh, nice! So in this, in the female route, I get links with everybody. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. But in the male MC, I only get links with the opposite gender. Okay. Interesting. This is different. It's starting to get a little cold out. Let's go home. You decided to go back. Welcome back. For your information, the internet line which has was ripped apart by the shadows will be fixed tomorrow. If you have a computer in your room, you should be able to connect. Well, that takes care of everything that was damaged. Except, of course, Akihiko's ribcage. Alright, all this talk about the internet reminded me of something. I was totally addicted to this one online game for a while. It's called Innocent Sin Online. And it's pretty fun. I haven't touched it since I got here. Maybe I should log in sometime. Junpei, give me your password. Since tomorrow's a holiday, I think I'll play Innocent Sin Online. If the plan is to use everything we have to win, then that's what we're going to do. We'll use the most effective attacks to defeat the enemy and we won't be concerned with our own SP or health. If you sense some danger, it'd be nice if you could change the plan immediately or heal us. No... Oh, I see. I guess the, uh... The Maya or the, the Toriyumi confidant or social link isn't available in this, in the female route because, I guess, uh... It's like a male exclusive link, that could be it. Many of the are eagerly anticipating tomorrow, due to the Golden Week holiday, the highways are expected to be jammed bumper to bumper. Traffic conditions are expected to worsen from tomorrow until May 3rd. Officials expect the roads to be cleared by May 4th. From all of us at Action News, have a happy Golden Week. You know, it's getting pretty hard to heal you when you get sick. For example, Dia is only half as effective on you, so try not to get sick. How are you exploring? How are your explorations of Tartarus proceeding? Really good. Excellent. Then continue the good work. All right. Three advantages. All out knockdown, additional attack. Right. Okay. Interesting though. I can't play Innocent Sin online. Only Junpei can. <laughs> All right. That is cool though, it really caught me off guard that I can have confidants now with my entire party. Junpei and Yukari. Good. We are slowly getting uh, a nice arsenal of links. I wonder what my nighttime ones are going to be too. I should start hitting the uh, start hitting the mall at night to see if there's anything new once the first full moon passes. Today is Showa Day. The phone is ringing. Yo, Junpei here, you got some time? No, we don't do these because uh, we can rank up instead with someone else instead of doing this. Sorry, I'm tied up. Oh well, later then. Wait, sorry, I'm tied up? <laughs> what? Femsi, what is this response? He hung up. He seemed disappointed. Why are you disappointed that I'm tied up? Help save me, you goof. What? No Tanaka, right, okay. And I can't play Innocent Sin online. Yeah. Alright. Let's head to the lounge. A battle is a lot for a boxing match. Speed is crucial. Whether you want to attack an enemy, you'll need to be quick. Got it. The higher we advance, the stronger our enemies will become. Are you well equipped? <laughs> I'm too well equipped. Alright. You turn on the TV. Accident at the intersection over six miles of traffic is backed up. Coming up next, more traffic reports. There seems to be no problem at this section, but... The highway in the other direction seems to be packed. Officials are hoping that congestion will be relieved by May 4th. May 4th, wow. That's pretty crazy because, uh... Isn't this episode coming out on May 4th? Maybe. I don't know. You'll find out, I guess. <laughs> 